Good morning, St. Thomas More. Today is the last day of regular classes. Examination week begins Thursday, June 20th to Wednesday, June 26th. Period one exams start on Thursday, June 20th. Period two exams on Friday, June 21st. Period three exams on Monday, June 24th. Period four exams on Tuesday, June 25th. And period five exams on Wednesday, June 26th. All final exams start at 8.20 a.m. Students must be in full St. Thomas More uniform during exams. If you have a spare or lunch during period one, two, three, four, and five, please do not come to school on the scheduled exam date for that period. If you are here for extra help on a non-exam day, you must be in full uniform. In the event of a school closure or cancellation of transportation, the scheduled exams will be delayed one day. For example, Thursday exams will be moved to Friday and so forth to complete the examination schedule. If an emergency occurs at school, such as a power failure, determination will be made in that day of the exam to proceed or not. Should the exam not to be able to continue, the schedule will be delayed for one day. For example, Thursday exams will be moved to Friday and so forth to complete the examination schedule. Academic dishonesty. Cheating is a serious offense. It will result in a zero being signed for the examination. Electronic devices, including your cell phones and ear pods, are not permitted in the exam room. I encourage you to leave those devices at home or lock them in your locker. When you are finished writing your exam, we ask you to leave the building immediately. Do not loiter around the hallways in the washrooms as examinations are still in progress. In terms of transportation, school buses are going to run at regular time during final exams. Students are encouraged to arrange your own transportation home immediately after your final exam. The late bus for co-curricular activities is cancelled as of June 19th. In terms of textbooks and other St. Thomas More equipment, all non-examination materials should be returned to your classroom teacher by Wednesday, June 19th, that is today. If you have material that's required for the examination, your classroom teacher will collect it on the day of your final examination. Now lockers. This year we're proceeding to a new format for lockers for the 24-25 school year. Garbage bins have been placed out in the hallway, so starting today we ask you to start to clean out your lockers, put all your garbage in those garbage bins or recycle bins that are in the hallway, take all your belongings out, Make sure that when you're finished that, that you place your locker on the lock, lock it, but leave the door open as in the picture that's on the screen. You have today to start cleaning out your locker, but on the last day of your final exam, your lockers all should be cleaned out. Any items that are left in your locker will assume is garbage and we will dispose of them. Okay. On Thursday, June 27th, it is a professional development day. You are to stay home. Exam viewing day starts on Friday, June 28th. We will follow an abbreviated timetable with the noon dismissal. Students are expected to be in full uniform and remain in class for the entire period. School buses will be at St. Thomas War at 1210 for those students who take the school bus. If you're writing your final exam in an alternative location, such as the library or student success. You are to report to those locations for your final exam on the date your exam is scheduled. And as previously mentioned by Mr. Block, don't forget about the pencil case project. If you have any pencil cases, pens, pencils, rubbers, erasers, protractors, geometry sets that you're not using, please uh, bring them to Mr. Block's office to donate them. Uh, so someone in another country who we greatly benefit from having these uh, utensils for their schooling. And on that note, I wish you a wonderful day and we'll speak to you in our uh, end of the year assembly that we have period one today. Reminder about the assembly, we are gonna be calling down by grade level today, starting with the grade 12 classes, finishing off the grade nines. There's no formal seating plan for this assembly. So when I call you down, I'm gonna ask you to fill the bleachers in first, and then we're gonna to head towards the floor. So uh, shortly around after 9.10, 9.15, we'll be calling down to start the assembly. On that note, have a wonderful day, St. Thomas More.
Good morning, STM. I'm Lamar. And I'm Adesua. And we're here from the Denver City Committee. As we approach June 21st, we recognize and celebrate the history, her heritage, resilience, and diversity of First Nations, Métis, and Inuit across Canada. On National Indigenous Peoples Day, Indigenous, indigenous people groups and communities have celebrated their culture and so um, celebrated their culture and heritage on June 21st because of the significance of the summer solstice as the longest day of the year. Here's a short video to commemorate June 21st, National Indigenous Peoples Day. Thank, Thank you, you SCM, and, and have, have a great day. day. Creator Great Spirit, thank you for each one taking part and making this a fun and happy gathering. We thank you for the beautiful waters. The land we stand on. The air we breathe. We thank you for our families, our children. Thank you for our friends our relatives, our ancestors who watch over us. Thank you for the teachings to guide us to walk the good road. The road of kindness, of care, of compassion. The road of courage, of strength, of generosity. Creator Great Spirit, bless each one in a special way to keep everyone safe. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 824. And remember, it's a great day to be an...